Good morning. Uh, we're going to sing number 506. Now we remain. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost in the night. Then by your cross we were saved, dead became living, life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts, living now we remain with Jesus the Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. And today we offer this Mass for all the people of the parish. And gathered together as God's family, let us take some time to acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously hear our supplications, Lord, so that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is entering with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring your gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. 
Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty, his power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them far from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, this Gospel, uh, from the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 17, uh, this Gospel is a lot often used um, for uh, ecumenical services uh, where you have you know different types of Christianity you know we have the Catholics we have the Protestants you have the Pentecostals the Baptists Lutherans and and this gospel is oftentimes used to pray for unity amongst all the Christians right so pray that that we may all be one just as you know just just as we are one um, but I think during these times even just amongst amongst Catholics um, you know, during these times of the, of the virus, I think we are so divided. We are so divided. And, and this gospel is so fitting during these times to pray for unity amongst all, just, just, just the Catholics alone. Because I think we are all over the place in terms of, you know, of when we should open the church, right? I get all, so many text messages, so many emails saying, when are we going to open the church? When are we going to open the church? I heard so and so. I heard Orange County. The, the bishop <coughs> declared that they're going to open the church in June, you know, mid-June, mid June 13, 14, they're going to open. What are we doing? How come we're not opening? What's going on? Are you lazy? Right? Um, and I heard so-and-so already opened in May, you know? Uh, or you get the other extreme, right? Or uh, the other side of, well, I think we should just never open churches because it's never going to be safe, right? Um, so I think there's something, you know, uh, in between, you know, you know, uh, you know, complete anarchy and and uh, you know, complete uh, tyranny. You know, um, and I think you know, of course, everybody is you know is entitled to their own opinions of what what is their what is your version, what is your you know opinion about the virus and how we as a church should should act, right? Or when we should have masses, how we should have masses. We should have masks, no masks. You know, church parking lot. You know, communion, hand sign, all kinds of things. Right? Of course, you're entitled to your own opinion, but I think at the same time, you know, part of being members of the Catholic Church and the Diocese of San Jose, right, um, with the leadership of our current bishop, you know, um, I think you know it's it, it's wise, it's prudent, and to really kind of kind of trust trust the leaders of our church that they're actually doing their best. You know, it's not like I have never met one bishop in the world that would say, oh, I hate. I hate to open up churches for mass. You know, I have never met a bishop like that. 
Everybody wants to celebrate Mass, right? But we also want the safety of uh, celebrate Mass and the safety of, of, of all the all the people coming, right? How that's done, every bishop's doing it differently, right? But I think you know, in our local diocese of San Jose, the county of Santa Clara, the CDC, and the county, all these things, you know, I think I would like to ask all of you, including myself, to you know, yes, we're entitled to our own opinions of what we should do, how we should be doing things, but to trust the process and to pray for unity. You know, it is, it is truly the evil one, right? It says, I didn't ask that you take them from the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. I truly think it's the evil one that's doing an excellent job of dividing us and conquering us, right? And then when we're divided, when we're scattered, scattered, it makes, you know, our voice even seem, you know, worthless, less. So, um, yes, we're entitled to our own opinions, right? But at the same time, you know, trust that our leaders are doing their best, right? Um, and try to make the best decision for for us, for our church, for our local diocese, and to pray for unity. You know, pray for unity amongst all to all the Catholics. You know, in, in, the, in the area, um, to have that same same vision and, and 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 that common goal of you know how we're we're going to move forward uh, as soon as the shelter in place is, is lifted. Gathered by Christ into <clears throat> divine life, let us pray that the Spirit of Christ may unify the church and all its members, we pray. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the Spirit of Christ may sanctify all of us, we pray. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit of Christ may bring love to a world torn by fear, we pray. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit of Christ may guard and protect the poor and defenseless, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The Spirit of Christ may fill the sick with confidence in the risen Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, let us ask God for our own intentions, or you can also type in your intentions. For these prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit of Christ may breathe new life into those asleep in death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. God of eternal glory, before time began, your word shared your majesty, and through your Son we have seen it as well. Send out your Spirit upon us, that we may be sanctified in truth and unity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you for the earth, work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray that the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity, 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity through Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages you may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, so we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace. I give you without our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold it what takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
prayer, spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And my brothers, my sisters, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.